Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Language and Life Skills. I am Matthew Atikanil. Today's uh, topic of presentation is what I call the pawn trap. The pawn trap. How your thoughts and beliefs can trap you in the world of pawn. Some of us may think viewing pawn is a harmless pastime and not uh, hurting anybody. It is a thrilling way of relaxing. You may even tell yourself, I deserve it. When I am upset, when somebody has hurt me, it's a good way of relaxing. Is this really true? Unfortunately, our misguided thoughts and beliefs about porn can have it in, a, in his grips. Let me ask you a question. You are sitting on the edge of a well and you lean into the well more than 45 degrees to take a selfie. Will you save yourself from falling into the well? No. Similarly, your thoughts and beliefs about porn can land you in serious trouble, take you for a ride. It is like water going out of a non return valve, it cannot come back. You will just be carried away in the tide of porn, like being caught in a flash flood. Let us see now some of the beliefs of the porn uses and peel off the masks from these beliefs. First belief they have is, I deserve this. I deserve to see the pawn. I am very tired. I need to relax. Everybody is uh, finding fault with me. I need some relief. Nobody understands me. So I need some unwinding. Will pawn really help you to relax? When you finish seeing pawn, what you feel is not relaxation, but guilt feeling, boredom. Apathy towards life and work. Honestly, are these the things you deserve? You say, I, des I deserve this when you, when you are seeing porn. No, no. You, better to, you had better say, I don't deserve the slavery of porn addiction. Slavery is not something that you deserve. Another belief is telling you, I can quit any time. I have perfect self-discipline, self-mastery. This is pure self-deception because porn is addictive. It releases strong chemicals in your bloodstream. After you see it, your body will ache for the same chemicals and you will find it impossible to suppress the craving of your body. So you had better change your thought and say, I can't stop it when I want. So I will not see it. Another Serious self-deception is to tell yourself, no, I will just watch for five minutes. <laughs> After five minutes, I will stop. But it will be so interesting, the five minutes will look like five seconds. You won't be able to stop. <laughs> it is like going downhill in a vehicle which has uh, lost its brakes. So, it is not realistic to say that after five minutes you will stop. So tell yourself those five minutes will only be the beginning of many wasted hours and a ruined life. Sometimes uh, you will say, just one more time won't hurt. It definitely hurts. Each time you see Paul, your willpower is weakened and your resistance is reduced. So, it is not correct to say one more time won't hurt. So, change your thought and tell yourself, each time I see it, it will hurt me. The next wrong belief is to sell yourself, nobody has a problem like me. In order to true, everybody has got his problems or her problems. They may have far more serious problems than you. They may be starving with no food, no working. Maybe they are in jail for life. Maybe having incurable disease. Here are people with far more problems than you. So there is no one without problems. Only we do not know about them. So this is a wrong belief. Everybody has got problems. Another thought somehow got is nobody likes me.
It's not true. There are friends who cared for you. Maybe you do not know that they cared for you. You do not drop down straight into this earth from heaven, from the sky. God cares for you. Tell yourself, I am precious to God. I am his child. So don't say nobody likes me. Another belief. You tell yourself, I am a bad person. So I cannot change. Nobody is born a bad person. You have been created by God. You must evolve from some inert matter. So every sinner has a past and every saint has a future. So tell yourself, God has not created any bad person. I am his child. I can change and become good even if I am bad at the moment. And the last of these uh, common beliefs is telling yourself, I am not strong enough to resist. What is again, not true. You have many resources at hand to help you to change. You have friends to talk with you, to walk with you. You can find other healthier alternatives to viewing porn. So tell yourself, nothing, nothing is impossible with God. He will carry you on his pinions, on his eagle's wings. Nothing is impossible with God. He will carry you on his wings. So friends, those of you who are interested or being pawn, you need to change your thoughts and your beliefs. Change your self-defeating thoughts and beliefs and start thinking, liberating, self-affirming positive thoughts. Then you can become a human being fully alive. So let us get out of the clutches of porn and live life very positively in a very meaningful way. Thanks for listening. If you like this video, please subscribe. Bye. Till another time.